hi guys welcome to today's video today we'll be adding this animation effect to our previous design so if you don't have the, the, this design you can just check out my previous videos to know how to design this and you can learn this animation for a different project as well so don't forget to like share subscribe and comment if you have any problem when taking when doing this course this tutorial just comments i'll reply to you then and i will leave the link for all of my assets in the description box so that's it let's get started okay guys let's start adding animation to our design so for this if we, if we don't have this design there is a previous video on it if you want to use this design for the animation so you just have to like follow the step to design this landing page so yeah let's get started now so you just select this image hold down shift and select the three images as well then ctrl d for duplicates then ctrl g to group them together so that's it so i'm going to make this a frame yeah in frame so i'm going to duplicate this again ctrl d so here i have like this then another ctrl d i don't know like so i have like three of this so you can see like i have three of this only the three i think i'll need four there ctrl d again so like four of this so what i'll do is copy this image you can see i'm selecting the image so ctrl c for the image then select this image and paste to replace so you can see so k for scaling yeah i don't know yeah what i'm doing but like i'll do it again so why i will come here so control c and come here to replace paste to replace Basically what I'm doing is I'm changing the images that we have. So I'll, I think I'll have to like delete this and this. So I have to work with this. So here now I will copy this image this image control C I'll come here select this image then paste to replace like that yes then paste to replace but I okay So this image, I think I have to like copy this again. Control C. Then come in here and paste to replace. Okay. So that's all I'll be doing. So I'll basically do the same thing for 
every single every single of the design so that we can like four dynamic groups Okay, so now we have a dynamic frames ready. So I'll just like select all. All right, press select, shift and select all. Then create component sets. So they are all just components. Then go to prototype. So here, okay, go to here. So if I use after delete, I'll be using after delete, and I'll be using two thousand five hundred milliseconds. So and I want it to stand. Use smart animate. Yeah. So the same thing from here to here after delay 2500 milliseconds yeah the same with this after delay So what happened is here as well I want when someone click this click same here or the click effect the smart animate you click here click see here you click here click see here you click here yeah Tabs this go to assets and you can see this here. Okay. So I'll bring the components here. This component will be using. So I'll go back to design. Go back to design then copy this control C then come in here. I'll have to group this. Control K. Then paste to replace. So now I don't know if you look at where I select this, you look at it, you can see like it's a component. 
So let's play this. Let's preview this and see. So you can see the images change. And when we click, 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 it works perfectly the way we want it. So this is it. So you can see it works. So you just like test and if there is a part that is not working, you can easily go back there and change it. So that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to follow me on instagram subscribe like please like this video so that youtube can recommend this to others as well thank you